Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, we'll make a video today. Uh, we do a lot of blind hunting on the lease and it makes it a little bit easier with the camera. So uh, me and uh, Daddy-O and Kim's come down here and uh, we're gonna set some of these blinds up and show you why. So, you got Daddy-O with me. He's figuring out the blinds. Miss Kim over there hiding behind him. There she goes. And uh, anyway, we're gonna show you uh, we're going to show you a little bit what 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 reason we're picking this place for. All right, we got our first blind up and this is a spot that we've killed a lot of turkeys on they like to strut in this field and what we're doing is this here is like a great big saddle and rolls over you can see our shooting house on the other side of the other side of the UTV but anyway these turkeys like to come out and strut through here or they strut down in here in these hollers and then they come across this top and I've got two trail cameras out there now so, you know, from past experience, and especially rainy days, this is a good spot for a rainy day. And you can call from a long distance here. So, you can see what, what it entails. And then behind it is the big ridge that overlooks the river that they like to roof. So we're gonna go probably put a blind up on top and we'll show you that spot also. This location is because many times turkeys like to roost over the river. You can see the bend of the river here. People down there strike fishing all the way around. And it's 50 50 shot here. The turkeys get up in these trees over this water, they roost there, and then they'll either fly down here or they'll fly across the river. And the reason we like this spot is because we've got this old road bed goes down through here. And then the road bed that goes that way that you can see for the UTV, but they like to work the back side of this ridge. And a good plus sign to being up here is you, it's hard to tell through the trees, but there is over 50, I think there's right at 57, tar, 57 hens in that field and 12 toms. It's hard to see them on the camera, but they're over there. We just pulled the binoculars up. They'll, they'll either fly across the river over there or they come over here. So usually when it's raining, they're in that field. And then sometimes they're over here. This is one of our favorite spots. A lot of scratching coming up here. You can tell where they get in here and feed. So we'll head to the next spot. This is one of our other spots that we really, really like. Uh, a bunch of birds being killed back here. Sarah got her first one. Harley got his first one. Uh, we've killed several back here. It's a big old field. We'll come in here and mow this whole center strip and get some strut lanes. Got a little shooting house up our episode four last year. I was right there next to that green tree when I killed that bird in episode four of 2020. Um, but anyway, we done set the big barnet up over here. We got it ready. It'll be, we can catch both ways. So this ain't really a saddle, but once all this strip down through here is mowed, they'll strut down there. Turkeys don't like to strut in this tall stuff. They'll go through and find the hens and pick. So we're gonna come out with zero turn, and mow all this middle strip down through here and we'll be set. So we've got two sets in the fields and we're gonna have two, three sets in the woods. So we'll move to the next spot. Okay, this here is our fourth setup. And uh, this is a double bull. Primo's 360 blind 
and I'll show you more about the inside of it here in a second. As you can tell, you can't see in it whatsoever. But when, uh, when you unzip it and get on the inside, you can see completely out of it all the way around, which is really, really cool. These double bulls, they also uh, tie down from the inside so the straps don't rot off of them. It's made out of a hot, lot heavier duty canvas material than your regular blinds. But it's really funny, you can see right here, you can see out everything. You come out here, you can't tell it at all. It makes it really cool. You can get back and get comfortable and see all the way around you and don't have to open the windows but very little. But the reason that we picked, why I picked this area, as you can tell, my stand is right up there. As y'all remember in deer season, 2020, uh, that's my stand. And then uh, Finger Ridge is down there, back buddy and the shooting house that we've been working on is in here that we, uh, we did the X bracing on. Got some more work to do on it, you'll see more videos on it but anyway the reason i picked this as you've been as you've seen in my videos when i'm hunting my stand this is a great big saddle it comes over this way down on both sides there's finger ridges that run down as you can see there's a holler runs down through here ridge here ridge there another holler runs down through here now what happens here is you got pines on this side field down below there's an old smokehouse down there that we're going to use too as a uh, shooting house when uh, when opportunity presents itself. But over there is the big ridge. Now the turkeys usually roost all down this ridge or they'll roost on this ridge on this side. They hardly ever get right on top because they get a running shot to go up in a tree or they'll roost on the other side of the UTV over there down this side. So they roost here. If you can get in here quiet in the mornings, you can hear, I mean, as long as they don't hear and you get in here, a lot of times they'll pitch right down and you can work them up these hollers to you. Now, there's a lot of hens feed back and forth. You can see a lot of scratched areas in here all the way across that holler. These hens will come down here and they'll scratch and then they'll, they'll want to nest down here in these thickets at the bottom. So I killed two birds out of this spot last year. Uh, bird number one and bird number three I killed out of this general area but that's my setup with the primos truth 360 blind awesome blind that's why i put it in my favorite spot so we'll move on to the next setup now i'll show you something real quick before we set the last blind up uh, on this old home place of ours you know a lot of farms and stuff have uh you know old barns this one here's pretty rough shape growed up around and leaning half the roofs missing but a lot of people had salt sheds smoke sheds smokehouse sheds so we have this one on our lease and even though it's in pretty rough shape it can be used especially if you're running guns it can be used for a quick place to jump in here quietly and as you can see some of the boards are rotted out, but you got lanes to shoot if they're coming down the mouth of the hollers. The last blind I just showed you is right up on top of that hill. So that's the valley on the left of it. That's the valley on the right, or the left of it and the right of it. And then we have a board broke out in the back. And if they're in the field strutting, you can see them through there. And then you can see the deer are still trying to come here and eat off this old salt from years ago. It looks like we got a critter this year too. Probably a groundhog. But anyway, that's a neat place to uh, jump into. You just gotta watch for copperheads and snakes, but uh, nobody's killed out of it, but it's an option if we wanted to get it. So we'll get back to putting the last blind up the fields and the one we put up here is a blind that's about 10 years old and it is so faded and ripped up it's ridiculous 
So we're gonna hide it. There's so many holes in it. We're gonna hide it in behind this big blow down. Daddy's up here clear now. But this is a really good transition part for the turkey because they roost up on that big ridge and they roost up on the big ridge on the other side. That's all our property. But they like to come through here. We see a lot of scratching and stuff through here and I got a trail camera pictures of some. I've got a chick my SD card. But also on the other side, our neighbor's field, it's about 100 yards over there and they'll cut back and cross from that field to our field here in the valley. So the old Ameristep, three-sided Ameristep, about 10 years old, that thing has seen its better days. It is ripped all to pieces. But anyway, maybe it'll hold enough cover for, and plus I can get to it easy after my ablation. and I can come through here and get in there setting this blind without wiring myself out. So Daddy over over, he's over making some shooting lanes that hoy when he's making it talk. But anyway, we're going to sight our guns in. That's kind of an idea of what we going on. We like to look where they're scratching, see where they're coming through, look for roof sites. And we've got some experience with this farm, so there's plenty of turkeys in here and we know where they roost. But anyway, that's kind of an idea into what we do, or kind of the way we set our blinds up. We like saddles. We like... You know, we like to have options to hunt open fields, and then, of course, like I said, running gunning is not even probably a possibility for me this year. But uh, I'll be able to get these blinds pretty easy uh, before my blaze and after my blaze. So, y'all stay tuned. Turkey 2021 is coming, and we're excited about it. Ain't we, Daddy O? Yo! We're ready for it. You're going to get us a turkey. That's right. We're going to knock some down this year. turkey. They only let us have three this year. We had four last year, so they cut us back a bird. So we're gonna get see if we can knock a jelly a couple heads. Just hope I can get one. <laughs> he will. I like turkey. <laughs> All right, we'll catch y'all later. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. And as always, remember, God bless. Kimberly, would you like to say anything? Nothing? Nothing? You sure? She, Tell them why you don't go turkey hunting. Because they're ugly. Because they're what? Ugly. Why do you go with me then? I just go sit with you, but I don't want any turkeys because they're ugly. At least she puts up with me. See? I should have said, I won't even come with me. I'm